Have you switched over to Windows 11 and you're tired of having to log in with a PIN or a password into your Microsoft account every time you turn on your computer? Well, today we're gonna to show you how to switch over to a local account in Windows 11 so you don't have to do that anymore. It's really quite simple to do in the Windows 11 settings. If you are new here, my name is Ken. This is Northern Viking Every Day. We bring you videos on reviews and how to's. So please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Let's go ahead and dive right over to Windows 11 and show you how to switch to a Windows 11 local account. All right, so here we are in Windows 11 and I'm currently set up with a Microsoft account that I need a pin to log in to my computer. And once you're all logged into your computer here on your desktop, in order to create a local account or switch over to a local account, we need to actually go into our settings here in Windows 11. So go down to your start menu down here at the bottom. It looks like the little Windows icon and you can go ahead and left click on that with your mouse here in Windows 11 and it's gonna bring up your start menu. Now for myself, I've got settings pinned here in my start menu. If you're not seeing that pinned, you can go ahead and click on all apps here and scroll through your apps all the way down to the letter S and you should see settings right here. You can go ahead and left click on settings right there and it's gonna take you into your system settings. Now, once you're in your system settings here, you'll see system on the left-hand side, Bluetooth, network, we're looking for the option right here on the left that says accounts. You can go ahead and left click on accounts. This is going to take you into the accounts area here in Windows 11. Now, a lot of you might have been searching for this option that I'm showing you today in the sign in options area here where you would change your password or dynamic lock. What we're looking for is the one here at the top that says your info accounts used by email, calendar and contacts. Let's go ahead and left click on that one and load up the accounts area here in Windows 11. So once this area loads up on your computer, you'll see you could add a photo of yourself in here, but we wanna go a little bit further down the screen here where it says accounts and settings. You can see we currently have a Microsoft account. Now, if we go over to the right-hand side of the screen, it says sign in with a local account instead. This is what we wanna click on to switch over to a local account. So we're gonna go ahead and left click on that with our mouse and a pop-up is gonna pop up. It looks something like this. It says, are you sure you wanna to switch to a local account? Windows works better when you sign in with Microsoft. I'll let you decide if you wanna do this. But to switch over to local, we wanna go ahead and click next here at the bottom. And the first thing it's gonna ask us for is our pin or our password. I'm using a pin here, so it's gonna want that. I'll punch that in. And now it's gonna ask us for our username. Right now I have Northern Viking in there. Um, you could go ahead and switch it to whatever you like. Maybe I'll just put Ken this time. And it's also gonna ask us for our new password. Now, if you don't want a password, I don't really want a password on mine. I'm just gonna leave new password, confirm password, and password hit hint blank. If you do want a password, you can go ahead and punch that in there. I'm just gonna leave it blank. And you can always add that at a later date. Let's go ahead and hit next here. And again, it's gonna say switch to a local account at the bottom here sign out and finish. We just wanna go ahead and left click on that and it's gonna start preparing our local account for us and switching over. It's signing out right now and it's gonna log back in. Now we don't have a password so we shouldn't have to punch that in. I'll just click on the screen, hit sign in and Windows 11 will load up and we're all set in a local account rather than being logged in in a Microsoft account, it's really that simple. So I hope this tutorial helped you out in switching to a local account here in Windows 11. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you are interested in learning more about Windows 11, I do have a link up here to how to change your themes and download new ones in Windows 11. Make sure to click on that. Remember to connect with me on social media and subscribe here on YouTube. You'll find all those links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.